Hey, welcome back into today's video. We're going to be talking about a situation to do with a streamer named Destiny. He is known as a pioneer of live streaming by being one of the first content creators to make streaming a full-time job. He's been on the platform for about 11 years, but no more. He's been permanently banned, and the situation involving it has to do with another Twitch streamer named Keffels, who is a trans advocate on Twitter. As of now, no one knows a definitive reason as to why he was banned from Twitch, but uh, I feel like it's an accumulation of several different events, and I'm going to walk you through them in today's video of social commentary. <laughs> so this is the official statement that Destiny received from Twitch. It says the reason was for hateful conduct, promoting, encouraging, or facilitating the discrimination or denigration of a group of people based on their protected characteristics. Examples include uh, a combination of words and emotes in chat to promote denigration based on race, praising or supporting hate crime, advocating the exclusion of a group of people based on their disability. It says the violation occurred on stream or VOD, and it's an indefinite length. I think this is probably a pretty big blow to Destiny's career as he won't be able to go into live panels and do any type of debates on their entire platform as he is now banned and that is a violation for any creator on that platform. Destiny is a very controversial character. On Twitch alone, Destiny has been banned and suspended around six to seven different times. Not to mention that he's had multiple accounts on Twitter that were also banned. This is him talking about one of his Twitter bans. My last Twitter account got banned, probably for good reason. I was really edgy on that account. But my recent one, I wasn't really that edgy on. My Omni Destiny one, um, I tried not to tell people to kill themselves or any like really offensive sh <laughs> the, the best that I could. You know, I maybe made a few edgy tweets. The Burning Cross one was like pretty edgy. But for the most part, um, you know, aside from calling people f idiots and whatnot, I, I wasn't, I don't think I was doing like TOS um, violation stuff. But my last one got completely shut down for a tweet that I still don't know what it was. I'm not sure what it was. I also found one video clip where he's talking about how one of his Twitter accounts got banned and he said something about, uh, I'll, I'll let him explain. Your account got banned, for, like, right? Like your first account? That like, was... Like, K followers or something? Yeah, well, that was... Like, they deserved it. That was... I asked them if they could... I think I asked them... Oh, this could, was... That happened for? Yeah, I asked them if they... I think I could ask them if they could resolve one of my local notes to a mm -hmm. physical address so that I sure. could go and bomb yeah. it and force them to fix that. <laughs> and I think I got banned for 10 threads. Whoa. That's, uh, that's pretty intense. Why did you do that? Because I, because the internet in Nebraska is bull****. So it looks like he's just like generally edgy content, things that I don't think that he means or, or is serious with intent, but still things that he's going to get in trouble for. I mean, it's pretty logical that if you say that you're going to bomb stuff or shoot people and, and even if it's in a joking manner that it puts you in a spotlight on these platforms especially with the current way of things um they're not gonna like that it's just to me is it seems like common sense if you're unfamiliar with the debates and content that destiny does here's him describing uh his own content my goal with debates has to do with helping people to form logical arguments and when I say logical arguments, there are two parts to that. I want people's arguments to be sound. That means that the premises are based in reality. You have some very real empirical backing to whatever your premise is. And then I want the arguments to be valid. That means that when all of your premises are taken together, the conclusion logically follows. This has been my only goal with my debates. The interesting thing to me is he's been on Twitch for about 11 years, but he only recently started getting in trouble. The first suspension was in 2018 after he said some uh, off-the-wall comments. I was given two reasons for how it was banned. The first thing was because I called the one dude a bad word. I said the F word. Am I, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say it without getting banned on Twitch on another platform. Um, but I said, the, I said the F word and I called him a re or whatever. Um, apparently that was bad. Then they also clipped the thing where I said, when I was talking to my mom, I was like, holy shit, like maybe they should shoot Cubans or whatever that were swimming over to the U.S. or something. Like my mom wants to do to Americans or something like that. Apparently that got clipped and that, and they, those two things. Of those two things, I don't know which one was worse or which one weighed more heavily into it. I've been, I've heard from two separate people now that people in Twitch have said that the F word didn't actually matter that much and it was more the Cuban thing. I don't know. Um, 
if that is true, it kind of makes me want to come back and say that black people aren't allowed to say the N-word anymore, ever. This was back in 2018, mind you, and there was a lot of articles that said he w it was for homophobic language. So when he's saying the F-word, it's, uh, check your screen out, it's this one here. So that's honestly pretty rough stuff and definitely against the Twitch guidelines for sure. And um, I don't think it really uh, weighs heavy if he's actually of Hispanic descent or not. I don't think that would matter in this situation. They would probably just look at the fact that he, he was saying that he was, uh, whether it's a joke or not, that there was any terminology that referred to somebody shooting somebody. I think that would probably be uh, what they would uh, weigh on. Twitch guidelines actually say we support Twitch users who express diverse and unpopular points of view or do so in humorous or controversial ways, but make your intent clear. We don't tolerate conduct that encourages or condones hate or harassment in any way. Ignorance is not an acceptable excuse for conduct that results in hate or harassment. I think that this points out like the epicenter of the reasons of why he gets a lot of these types of bans. So this 2018 situation kind of mirrors the current day where there's multiple reasons and things that it could be. But honestly, it shows me that he has a, a way about himself when he speaks. And I think this is aside from his content where he does things that are controversial, says things specifically that uh, these platforms nowadays, they're not going to like that. I mean, you, you go back uh, to 2012, different environment different whole whole scene like but you cannot just say even in a joking way nowadays that you're just anything about shooting anybody or anything about saying the f word it's just you can't do that so basically this twitch streamer named ella Braille said some comments about destiny's son why would you even think for a second that you would have the wherewithal to have any idea what the relationship is between me and my kid to suggest that I should have gotten an abortion. Then during one of Destiny's streams, somebody tweeted at him uh, a picture of this guy with no clothes on to which he showed on stream for a split second. He suggested the ban was unfair, quoted saying, I don't even think we saw anything bad. Technically, we didn't see anything in the picture. Ella, Ella Brell, or I'm, I'm saying that wrong, I apologize, uh, said this in response. That's hilarious. Don't bring random pictures up on your channel live. That's dumb. Why would anyone do that? Why would anyone do that? That wasn't the first time that he did it. He got banned again for something very similar. He was banned for accidentally showing a, uh, a sexually explicit thumbnail on his stream for a split second and banned again in May of 2020 for a similar reason. Both those bans only lasted a day. In three separate occasions, he showed things on his stream for a split second that he shouldn't have showed. On April 29th of 2021, Destiny had a guest on his show. The guest flashed a compromising image of Hunter Biden in an alleged SEX tape. Clearly, this is against Twitch terms of service, and despite Destiny's immediate reaction and quickly getting the content off screen, it seems the damage was done. I don't have time to go dig around on all this because, oh my god, there are so many other things I'd rather do with my time. But, like, those photos of his teeth, for instance, these were out in 2011. Um, like, here's a link to, like, or I'm sorry, 2020. Whoa, 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 hold on! One user in the comments said, had this video been two seconds longer, you could have seen her smirk right after he freaked out. She knew what she was doing. And then again in October of 2021, he was banned for, you remember that Twitch leak? He read email addresses on stream during the infamous Twitch leak, which included a list of corporate emails. The purported list showed several creators' names alongside noted corporate emails of individuals to contact if they were found to be under violation of some sort. Destiny read one of the emails during the clip, and he believes that's why he received a ban. It was a very interesting situation where it said that list of uh, people were said to be unbannable. He tweeted about it saying, Are corporate emails that go initial, last name, at corporation, really considered private information? LOL what? I would expect every at twitch.tv domain email to be considered semi-public. It seems to me he might have just made angry the wrong person. So in this current situation, it seems like there's a multitude of different things um, that could have got him banned for this final time. On 3-18-22, he did a debate with Nick Fuentes. Nick Fuentes is an American far-right and white nationalist political commentator and live streamer. The Anti-Defamation League has described Fuentes as a white supremacist. 
A former YouTuber, his channel was permanently suspended in February of 2020 for violating YouTube's hate speech policy. So this debate was actually not on his stream, but it was on the kill stream, and it centered around Ukraine. Nick is also banned from Twitch. This is actually a bannable offense. It's called aiding account suspension evasion. Enabling another person to evade an account suspension by featuring them or their content in your own content for a prolonged time. Examples include watching a suspended person's content on stream for a prolonged time, inviting a suspended person into your multiplayer game on stream, featuring a suspended person prominently on your panels, images, overlays, etc. Now, technically, this wasn't on his stream, and I would think that all those involved would also be in some kind of trouble if this is the case, but this is a possibility of a ban. So another possibility is there's a Twitter account, the Omni Liberal, to which he has some sort of association with. On Wednesday, March 23rd, Destiny tweeted that the people want to execute white people for using a racial epithet in a friendly way. Meanwhile, they're allowed to froth at the mouth while screaming cracker. Another reason could be due to the argument he got in with Keffels. One of the things I've noticed about Keffels' Twitter is they have this uh, thing where they ratio people. It's like a meme that is where the community, they, they just do this thing. They go around, they ratio people, and it looks like the community really gets into it. A good example here is that she says, I've always wanted to ratio Keemstar, to which she will end up ratioing that person. It seems to me like Keffels is one of the biggest uh, voices for the trans community, at least here on Twitter. And that's where she gets a lot of her power and backing from. She raises a lot of money for trans youth, which is pretty cool. So on March 21st of 2022, this is the tweet that started the whole thing and potentially led to Destiny's ban. It says, unprivating. The response to Ian Miles Chong quote tweeting me was better than I could have ever possibly imagined. I never thought Twitter ratios could make me feel so much safer as a trans person on the internet, lol. Thank you so much, Keffels, and everyone that helped. So let's see what Ian was saying. So initially he said, actual science from UK Sports Council Equality Group, current research indicates that testosterone suppression does not negate this physical advantage over females, and so cannot guarantee competitive fairness and or safety, to which she ratios him by saying just made a 19 year old trans person private their account out of fear of retribution from your followers please pick on people with your own age and ratio ian says the truth goes against your narrative you've been the victim of propaganda and disinformation you don't need propaganda when the truth is on your side the truth is not disinformation time to wake up and smell the ashes Keffel says, Ian, you have 270,000 more followers than me, and I ratioed you in less than 10 minutes. It's time to wake up and smell the ashes of your career. He said, let the statistics speak for themselves, to which they say, statistically, most of my replies have ratioed you. And again, this ratioing people is a big thing on this Twitter. It's like the meme that they do. So Destiny replied to this situation saying, this might be one of the cringiest things I've ever read in my entire life. One user says, I don't understand what's supposed to be cringe about this. The ratio thing? It's pretty obvious Capri is commenting on that as an indicator of public solidarity. And it makes sense that would be comforting for a trans teenager. And honestly, I agree with that. Like, this is something that's comforting to them uh, in their ordeals and what they're going through. So I get it. On the other end of it, I believe that Destiny was looking at the situation way too close. I think he was uh, saying that... There are much, much uh, bigger issues in the world. Let's see what he had to say. The response to Ian Miles Chong quote tweeting me was better than I could have possibly imagined. I never thought Twitter ratios could make me feel so much safer as a trans person on the internet. Thank you so much, Keffels, and everyone that helped. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, trans people get like fucking raped and murdered and the shit beat out of them and stuff in like areas of the South where people are still really backwards on that and then you have like i'm safe on twitter and soy because we ratioed these guys ah, ah. like sorry so yes while he is correct there are severe things going on in the world in this specific situation i think it was more about how a trans teenager felt more secure by uh, what somebody could do just on twitter so it's like a macro uh perspective type thing basically the teenager felt more secure in their own spear of the woods this comment is pretty much what I'm saying. It's the ratio thing, but I don't care. I'm glad something made them feel happy. 
And then Keffel's uh, tweets, uh, Hi, Twitter support. This is Omni Destiny, who uses the account Omni Liberal to ban evade. Could my followers please boost this so Twitter support takes it seriously? So he is technically ban evading, as we've seen in this video. She goes on to say, Literally deleted his tweet. I knew losing his account would be worth more than picking a fight with me. Destiny, you stay in your corner of Twitch, and I'll stay in mine, and we will have a good time. I want to talk about the 41% thing. You'll often see this directed towards anybody that is trans, and its meaning is uh, not not very good. It basically means that 41% of trans people attempt to end their life at some point, uh, and the reported life expectancy of black transgender women are just 35 years of age. A finding from the National Transgender Discrimination Survey said that 41% of 6,450 respondents said they had attempted to end their life at some point. So basically, it's the equivalent of saying kill yourself towards this group of people. On March 25th of 2022, Keffel's tweets, I regret nothing. It's a quote tweet where it says, after referencing Keffel's genitals to make multiple remarks fantasizing about how wealthy she must have been, Destiny laughs at a chatter that says it's comforting to think this person will off themselves in 30 years. Destiny says it's tempting to embrace 41% jokes. Can't cover the fact that in 30 years this person will kill themselves? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Obama. It's tempting to embrace the 41 jokes, but I'm trying to stay. I don't even know why at this point I'm trying to stay above board. Keffel says, also, I don't have to justify myself. I'm not from a rich family. Both my parents were blue collar workers who only were able to support my transition because they had union jobs. They are good people and I'm proud of my working class background. It was also said that Keffel's accused Destiny of R.A.P.E. and then walked it back. Let's listen to that. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, he stealths people, which is legitimately a form of... Insane. Insane shit. When her chat starts questioning what she says, she responds with... Wait, I don't know if he if he did it. Wait, backing up, I don't actually know if he did it, but he argued that it is not a form of rape. And that you shouldn't have sex with a woman who um, isn't mature enough to tell that someone would do that to them. So, like... That's a strong thing to say without any type of evidence. I do think that that... Bad. So when Destiny did get banned, she took responsibility for it, saying, Hey, Steven, I just took away your primary source of income. Please leave me alone and stop bullying trans people for content. That was at 4.17 p.m. Two minutes later, at 4.19 p.m., they say, His followers are going to get mad, so I'm going to clarify now that I didn't report anything, and he did this to himself. I honestly don't know why she took responsibility for it, only to backtrack. It's really reflective of what she said in stream, accusing him of R.A.P.E. Um, I also noticed in another situation where a woman named Lauren Southern said, ratios won't make you a woman, smiley face, and then deleted it. Kevil said, Lauren Southern deleted her tweet about me that said ratios will never make you a woman, but it was catched on Google after deletion. Misgendering a trans Twitch partner is against the community guidelines, and that tweet was sent in to Twitch the day before her ban. Going on to say she's currently trying to say it's for restreaming Destiny. That is not true. Twitch is a lot more lax on restreaming banned streamers recently. She's trying to spin the narrative because she cannot let a trans person own her this hard. So here we have another situation where uh, Keffels is trying to take ownership of banning someone and celebrating someone's ban, which I understand why they would be doing this because these people are saying hateful things towards not just her, but the whole group of people. But Lauren corrects her, providing evidence, saying, Are you literally capable of anything except getting internet upvotes and lying? And this does show aiding in account suspension, so it must have been for a stream that featured uh, Destiny. Keffel's replies to uh, Lauren showing her to be dishonest by saying, I've always wanted to ratio Lauren Southern and successfully ratios. So, um... I don't like the energy of there. It does seem like there is some dishonesty here, but it also it's it's the meme of the whole Twitter account. So it's it is funny. It, it is funny. But at the same time, this energy is not good. Generally, 
this is the video this kind of shows you everything that's been going on within this sphere of things how i feel like these people just really do not like each other uh, for very good reasons on both sides and um it can give you an idea of why destiny was banned so i'm actually genuinely curious as to what you guys think about this situation it, it seems like there's a little bit of wrong on both sides but then like the the mora the morality of uh, keffel's uh trans advocacy i think is going to shine through in this situation because it's just a whole it's a group and she's representing that group and she has that power of uh morality on her side but it, again this is something that she advocates for and cares about and i'm for trans people as well and i'm also for not not running people down and like calling them names and using uh, very hurtful memes like the 41 percent you know but that's, that's just me that's me I'm just that's me that's my thing but uh, as interesting as this is always something that's more interesting to me that's right you guessed it I want to know what you think so much go ahead and leave your creative and interesting response to the comment box below thumbs up for those likes as always brothers and sisters I will see you in the next video this video was a lot more complex than I thought there was a lot of stuff in there no way this is like years and years years 11 years worth of stuff there's no way you could get it all in one but i tried to like condense it down for you to give you a general idea of the situation so you can make your opinions and i'm going to be in the comment section i'm going to be reading them uh thank you to my patrons really appreciate your guys' continued ongoing support if you want to be a patron link in pinned comment check out this something you want to do uh rest in peace greg and don't forget that this channel loves you man